Hi guys, this is John Regis from yourinternetmarketingexpert.com and today I'm going to show you how to change your header image within your squeeze page in your Flex Squeeze theme. Now the Flex Squeeze theme is a premium theme, it's one that you have to purchase and the great part of this theme is that it actually allows you to construct squeeze pages within your WordPress blog. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our dashboard. Now at the top here you can see I've got two windows open. Uh, this just allows me to work much more efficiently and much more faster. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a new page and on the right hand side you'll notice that it's got various options and I'll just scroll down to attributes here and we want to choose the template for our page. So there's a default template, there's a full width template without any widgets involved and then there's a squeeze page templates. So we want to go right ahead and let's pick squeeze page template number two. Just write a few words. Let's call this your test page. And if I click to publish that and then right click and open that in the new tab. So we're working with this so we can see how this works as well. We'll see that this is how our page looks. It's got a basic default header that Flex Squeeze insert for us, um, depending on what template we use. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna edit that because we wanna put our own in. So we go back to our dashboard and we then click on appearance on the left hand side and we click on Flex Squeeze theme options. Now you'll be presented with a load of options. So we want to pay particular attention to the squeeze page options. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And this brings up another set of options. Now there's loads you can scroll through right now. And I can spend all day going through these with you. But we're going to pay particular attention to the width of our page. Because this is also enhanced the width of our header. And the height of our squeeze page header. So these are the two dimensions that we need to keep an eye on. Our header should be 650 by 150. And if it's any different, then we need to adjust, then we need to adjust these measurements here. So my header is already 650 by 150. So that's fine. The next thing that we want to do is we might want to pick a different background quickly. So let's um, pick the money one and let's change the background to a color close to what our header is going to be so we click that now next you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll come across some new options called squeeze page templates now there's a number of templates here and these coincide with if we switch back to this page with the templates on the side here so we've got one two three four five squeeze templates and over here we've got in our options we've got one two three four and five templates within these templates we can change the header image background so these are the default ones that flex squeeze allow you to pick from we can input our own custom header here we can name the title of our page as it will come up in text so if i typed you're great uh, then if we went back here and, and we uh, submitted that your great would come up in this header here but we don't want to do that we can also change the template page tagline as well so all we want to do is we want to put in our own custom header and if you look on the side, it tells you exactly how to do that. So I'll read this out loud for you. It says, if you want to use a custom header image, upload it to your theme images directory using the upload images tab above and put the name image in the blank with the extension. That's any file extension. To remove a custom header, put none in the blank. So first, what we want to do is we want to go all the way back up to the top and we want to click upload images. We then want to browse for our images and we're already at my folder where I've saved my header image and I've named it squeeze test so we want to go right ahead and open that and we just want to upload that 
takes about a couple of seconds to upload. Once that's done, we're going to go back to your squeeze pages options and we want to scroll all the way down to squeeze page template 2 and we want to input that file name in here. So it's squeeze test and my extension is PNG because the file is saved in a PNG. If it was saved in a JPEG, I would input the JPG file extension. Then after that, we're going to scroll all the way back to the top and we want to click save the changes. Then if we go back to our freeze page template and we click to F5 refresh, you'll notice that our backgrounds change, we change the color of that, but more importantly, our custom header has now been inserted into the page. And if you wanted to have round edges on your header, then that would have to be customly made for you. You'd have to do that before inserting it. It's not something that Flex Squeeze does. I hope this video solved most, if not all, of your problems. Until the next time.